Reefsome Disease, Wikipedia Audio Reefsome Disease, also known as Classic or Adult Reefsome Disease, Heredopathia Atactica Polyneuridiformis, Phytanic Acid Oxidase Deficiency and Phytanic Acid Storage Disease, is an autosomal recessive neurological disease that results in the overaccumulation of phytanic acid in cells and tissues. It is one of several disorders named after Norwegian neurologist Sigvald Bernhard Reefsum. Reefsum disease typically is adolescent onset and is diagnosed by above average levels of phytanic acid. Humans obtain the necessary phytanic acid primarily through diet. It is still unclear what function phytanic acid plays physiologically in humans, but has been found to regulate fatty acid metabolism in the liver of mice. Individuals with Reefsum disease present with neurologic damage, cerebellar degeneration, and peripheral neuropathy. Onset is most commonly in childhood slash adolescence with a progressive course, although periods of stagnation or remission occur. Symptoms also include ataxia, scaly skin, difficulty hearing, and eye problems including retinitis pigmentosa, cataracts, and night blindness. In 80% of patients diagnosed with Reefsum disease, sensory neural hearing loss has been reported. This is hearing loss as the result of damage to the inner ear or the nerve connected to ear to the brain. Reefsum disease is a paroxysomal disorder caused by the impaired alpha oxidation of branched chain fatty acids resulting in buildup of phytanic acid and its derivatives in the plasma and tissues. This may be due to deficiencies of phytanoil COA hydroxylase or peroxin 7 activity. In general, Reefsum disease is caused by PHYH mutations. Characteristics PEX7 gene mutations can interrupt the peroxisomal transport of proteins as this gene codes for the peroxin 7 protein receptor. These mutations in the PEX7 gene generally lead to rhizomelic chondrodysplasia punctata type 1 which impairs development of many parts of the body. Reefsum disease is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern, meaning that it requires both copies of the mutation to inherit the disease. Histopathology The skin shows hyperkeratosis, hypergranulosis, and acanthosis. Pathognomonic findings occur in the basal and suprabasal cells of the epidermis which demonstrate variably sized vacuoles that contain lipid accumulations. Gene review slash NCBI slash NIH slash UW entry on Reefsum disease. Adult Reefsum disease may be divided into the Adult Reefsum disease 1 and Adult Reefsum disease 2 subtypes. The former stems from mutations in the phytanoil COA hydroxylase gene, on the PHYH locus at 10P13 on chromosome 6Q22-24. It was initially believed this was the sole mutation, however 55% of cases are now attributed to mutations in other genes. Reefsum disease 2 stems from mutations in the peroxin 7 gene. This mutation on the PEX7 gene is also on chromosome 6Q22-24, and was found in patients presenting with accumulation of phytanic acid with no PHYH mutation. Adult Reefsum disease should not be confused with infantile Reefsum disease, a peroxisome biogenesis disorder resulting from deficiencies in the catabolism of very long chain fatty acids and branched chain fatty acids and plasma logan biosynthesis. Since phytanic acid is not produced in the human body, individuals with Reefsum disease are commonly placed on a phytanic acid restricted diet and avoid the consumption of fats from ruminant animals and certain fish such as tuna, cod, and haddock. Grass-feeding animals and their milk are also avoided. 
Recent research has shown that CYP4 isoform enzymes could help reduce the overaccumulation of phytanic acid in vivo. Plasmapheresis is another medical intervention used to treat patients. This involves the filtering of blood to ensure there is no accumulation of phytanic acid. In ruminant animals, the gut fermentation of consumed plant materials liberates phytol, a constituent of chlorophyll, which is then converted to phytanic acid and stored in fats. Although humans cannot derive significant amounts of phytanic acid from the consumption of chlorophyll present in plant materials, it has been proposed that the great apes can derive significant amounts of phytanic acid from the hindgut fermentation of plant materials. Cause Diagnosis Classification Treatment Biological sources of phytanic acid <laughs>